Hi guys, so I'm here with a Halloween home tour. We're gonna jump straight into this video and we're gonna start out with my fireplace. So first I'm gonna give you guys like a quick little overview of everything that's on the fireplace. Then I'll go back in detail. So the small little pumpkin is from Party City. I have these big pumpkins that light up in white, orange, and black. Those are from Walmart. The Hocus Pocus pumpkin and then the white Haunted Home pumpkin. Both of those are from Michaels. And those candles were gifted to me. And then this is from Walmart from previous years. And then this is new this year. A little Bath and Body Works wall plug. Another one. And that one is from last year. This one is from last year as well. And those both are in my living room. And I've never shared this before. But in my living room we have a projector. And I do put the fall and Halloween ambiance videos on in my living room. So I just wanted to share a couple with you guys so you can kind of see the feel that the videos give for in the living room with the decorations. This is an overview of my entry area. Here we just have this glitter wreath from previous years. Everything here that you see is from previous years. The flower is from Walmart. Um, the booth sign was from Walmart. And then on the other side is the same thing. Nothing is new. The candelabra was from Party City. This little skull pumpkin was from Target everything from previous years now moving on to my dining room i have these little gold skull potions that candle holder is from bath and body works and those two little pumpkins on each side of the skull were from walmart nothing new now in my breakfast area the only thing new here is the wax warmer this is me showing you a close-up of that little lantern that has ghosts in it that flicker and then the ghost candle holder is from Bath and Body Works previous years. And I just put my little Alexa Echo Dot thing in there. And those stacked pumpkins are from Lowe's, I do believe, from previous years. This little spooky sign is from Walmart, I think. And then I have two signs on each side of my sliding door. This one is one of my favorite Halloween signs that says, Beware of ghost and it's pointing to my sliding door and then this sign is from party city and it's just like a cute little 3d ghost happy halloween and then this is on my pantry the out of candy sign going down my hallway is this glittered boo sign and underneath it i have a new wallflower projector from bath and body works that projects ghosts on the wall and then across from my bedroom is this bat polka dot moon sign from party city from previous years and then this is an overview of my bedroom the signs are still the same from previous years those two signs came from party city this is me showing you guys my spooky cute little festive videos that i love to do and then this is a close-up of one that i really do like that has like a ghost that appears in the video and then disappears and then it also has a witch that goes across the sky and you can find these videos if you go to youtube and type in i believe it is midnight ambiance so that's a cute little potion video that goes with my new little cauldron um, wax warmer from walmart the cat and candle holder are from Bath and Body Works. And then I just have this Bath and Body Works scary witch hand on my body care. And then these are the two signs that are from Party City from previous years. And this sign does switch to Good Witch, Bad Witch. And then this was my first year decorating my shadow box for Halloween. We have a little skeleton man, a fake little book from Dollar Tree. And those um, glittered spiders are from Party City, a little pumpkin man. And this is a close up these three candles that you're going to see they do light up and they were in a set from amazon and then those little potion bottles were a halloween activity that we did last year now i'm going to show you guys what everything looks like at night so this is my shadow boxes with the candles lit up so we have the bats flying through the air the witch flying in the air with the bats and then she's headed to like a haunted house so i was trying to kind of tell a story with the shadow boxes and then this is the way the flip my switch light looks lit up this is me showing you some of my nighttime spooky videos that i like to put on for not just myself but also for my kids i just think it's a festive thing to do and i love these themed videos and this one is like a nighttime spooky village you have the big haunted house back there 
the moon, the bats, and then this one is supposed to be like a spooky town. And I love this video because the lights get bright and they dim and they go from like this purple, pinkish type of color. You guys will see it in just a second. So I do like that. And on the opposite wall, I have a dresser with a mirror and I do have lights around it. And this is what it looks like when the lights were orange. But this month so far, I've been kind of feeling the purple lights. So this is the way it looks with everything off except those lights. And then I also have like a little lantern on that dresser as well from previous years with just a little tea light in it. Now I'm showing you guys what my living room kind of looks like at night. Dark, everything lit up and turned on. So I am going to get a little closer for you guys to kind of see a little better of all the wallflowers and the signs. So this is my entry area with the raven and the boo sign and the candelabra lit up. This is how everything in the dining room looks. The skull is on, the bats and the stars and this pumpkin just has bats. And to continue with the little bat theme in this room is this brand new wallflower from Bath & Body Works that just lights up and it kind of casts a little outline of a bat on the wall. This is my breakfast area with everything lit. You can see the ghost in there behind the ravens and the lantern glowing, the wax warmer and the stacked pumpkins. And they actually project a little pumpkin face on my ceiling in my kitchen. And then this is an overview of what my fireplace looks like with everything lit up. You have the little scary rest in peace skull face glowing down underneath the bottom my jack-o-lanterns are on the candles are glowing it's just so cute and then I also want to show you guys that black pumpkin does light up it's just not as bright as the other two pumpkins and it's kind of hard to catch on camera and then this is the way the Bath and Body Works skull wallflower looks the little skeleton scene with the bats and then the witch house that says happy halloween and then this is the little potion with the ghost coming out as well that's in my hallway so that is it for this halloween home decor tour of 2023 i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment down below hit the like button and please do subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys